Didn't think about this one. Bugger. Oh, hang on. Um, <laughs> that's what separated me from those stairs. Oh well, have to do the old-fashioned way. Here we go. Right, up we go. What are you looking at, Annie? Oh, get it out of the way, go on. Come on, move yourself. Oh, it's a bit slippy up here. Right, so we got past the muddy part, which is all the way down there. And we're now at the nice dry part, which is this field here. So, here we go. And she's still in the bloody way. Such a weird transition, this. I'll stop that video there, so that we still have a bit more bloody time later on. One of those slightly more tranquil spots you'll find in Bristol. I'm actually on Dundry Hill at the moment. And uh, Keller will know all about this because she has been up there. Dog's not included in this, um, just so you know. And it always just amazes me at how clear this water is. Uh, ignore the fact there's mud in it, it's because my boots are there, but it's just amazing. And um, they've had a bit of a landslide here, it appears, because uh, originally that, just, that was made up of these boulders down here. Um, but no, it's, this is actually, you can drink this water. Um, which is kind of weird when you think about it, but it's all, it's all runoff off the fields. So there's nothing in it and it's just really good to have a quick drink now and then for refreshment. Um, that was the original waterfall there. Because um, obviously the water would come down off the uh, hill here and run through this bit. There's a pipe in there and it would just go all the way down there. But obviously someone or something has moved these and we've now got a nice new stream. And that's so yeah. And she loves jumping in it. She's a Labrador and that's what Labradors do. Isn't that right? Not even listening. What? And if she's found something interesting to do. Right, I'll stop that video there. And uh, oh, there's actually writing on here. Hang on. I did that. Thanks, Annie. Don't know if you can see that, but there's actually writing inscribed onto the stones of the uh, waterfall here. It's not English. I know that much. Oh, hang on, surfaces to line that something. It's like it's some sort of... I don't know, it's, it's weird really. I don't know. Anyway, that stream goes all the way down to the bottom there. Um, I think it connects up to one of the streams down in actually um, Harkliffe and Woodywood and Whitchurch down there. But I don't know. And if you're wondering where we came from, the next tree line along that way is actually where we just walked through with all the mud. So this is how close it is to my house, it's like less than a mile. It's ridiculous. Right, let's get on with some journeying. And I've got so mud here we are on my hand now, shopping. thanks Manny. Well, almost the you really are a pet. Um, quick kind of, I wouldn't say tour, just kind of pointing out some things. You've got, this is Hartcliffe below us here, um, where those flats are basically, that's the end of Hartcliffe and it goes on for about another mile and a half um, over in that direction. That over there is actually Wibby Wood, um, where you can kind of see these houses just around this area, and then there's a field just in the middle, and that's where, that's the start of where church then carries on that way, sort of thing. And it always astounds me just how quiet it is up here. With the exception of um, low-flying aircraft going to Bristol Airport, that's the only downside. Um, and of course annoying dogs which wander off without you. And that. But down here is a little pathway into that field there, into the next field over there. You can then get from that to that field. Or alternatively, if you just look along the edge of the um, tree line there, there's a little tree line which goes all the way along. The top of this bit, you can go along, there's a gate, you climb over the gate and it just goes all the way into that field. And you can go further into the other field and then you can come back around and somehow find your way back down to the um, houses down there. It's a bit of a trek but it would make a nice walk. Um, well, that's my take on it, at least. So here we go, we're going up to the top of Dundry. Um, Dundry is the last um, 
part of Bristol, as far as I know. It's one of the most southern points of Bristol, at least. And it's actually just a village, really. And then from Dundry, you can go into North Somerset, which is that way. <laughs> I don't think about that. But yeah, so I know that Keller has obviously been up here as I dragged her up here. <laughs> Well, she wanted to go up here and then uh, it somehow worked out that we were going to walk the dog as well so yeah that's the way that goes um, this has actually changed quite a bit if I'm honest since I was last up here um, there was just overgrown uh, plants and kind of wild wilderness down here this bit here and someone's clearly just been through with something and just dropped it all down and that so that's quite good actually because the keeping the system going and that's all it's just bit I've had a bit of a stuffed up nose today, so breathing's a bit difficult from that. But barely any wind up here today, which is quite astounding. And um, just to give you a better idea of what Bristol looks like from the top of Dundry Hill, it goes on for bloody miles. But now what you're seeing is basically South Bristol there, most of it. And then you've got the city centre, which is not actually visible at the moment, that's great. Kind of in that direction over there, kind of just in that sort of region and that then you've got Filton which is far away that way then you've got all of that stuff there which is down end Stockwood Kingswood um, Longwell Greens over there as well and my camera's getting a bit wet now as so it's just started raining of all things bit of a cloudy start we are actually in the cloud up here which is probably why it's raining and that, that's that's what all this kind of mist is it's actually just low cloud level and I'm standing in it which is always good. So yeah, I'll uh, just turn this video off so I don't okay, waste something. the memory card. We've just made a run point through instance. that hedge, good. just up there, kind of where that white thing is, just come through the hedge line onto the road. I don't know what it was. Um, it kind of looked a bit like a sheep, but it looked slightly too big for sheep. It could have been a deer or something, and that. And uh, to give you some idea of what how close Bristol is to Somerset and just kind of, how crazy English countryside can be. This is North Somerset, all the way around here, going into Chew Valley Lake, which is a big reservoir where you can fish and it's got really good um, kind of dog walking facilities down there. And that you've got the Mendip Hills, which are this range of kind of hills you can just see looming out the mist here. And on the other side of things, you've got Bristol City, which is over there and that just spreads out for bloody miles and it's really annoying and that um, we are actually at Manning's Wood according to this lovely sign here um, I'm not really sure why it has that there because no one really takes any notice of it oh and also this is just makes me laugh every single time excellent <laughs> so you're not allowed to ride up here but you can bring your dog up here and that it's raining quite badly now <laughs> um, as you can probably tell by the uh, splashes in that pool over there and the dog. Um, there was a style here. Um, there is no longer a style, which means I'm going to have to do some sort of kind of ninja kind of thing with the camera, and that, which is not the best idea. But we'll see how it goes. But to give you an idea, you've got farm, one farm there, another farm on top of the hill over there, which I've missed. There it is. Another farm along there. We've got the Dundry pylons. There's one over there, and that one there and Dundry Village is actually kind of, it's in between those two but it also goes halfway down the um, of the mountain as well. Sorry about the wind noise, I am actually in a very open place as you can see and I'm going to try and get over this style in that. We've got seven minutes so every time I turn this off it keeps going up which is nice. So let's find out how I can get across the style without dying and I did, excellent. Ah, that's always a good plus. Right, and now a gate, terrific. Um, oh, I haven't even said today's date. Today's date is the 30th of December 2011. Um, it's about quarter to ten in the morning. Don't ask why I'm up here at quarter to ten in the morning. I don't really know. That kind of hurt. So I just whacked my balls onto a uh, large metal thing. And there appears to be a van down here. What is going on? Well, I'm not really sure. And Annie's looking at me in the weirdest way possible. As she always does. I just realised we've actually zoomed in here. Um, so I can't zoom out apparently when I'm recording. It's slightly annoying. I don't know what this van is doing here. It's a bit weird, but that gives you a slightly better view than that. 
there's a lot of villages down in the um just these rolling hills that you can't really see too well it's a bit annoying but uh i know you've got pensford i think it's pensford down there there's chew magna um Barragurney is not down there it's kind of in this sort of direction here behind these hills um i know you've got um chew stoke down there as well which is really good it's got a really good pub in chew stoke actually really kind of country pub down there for locals just a good uh, baguette down there actually and uh, so yeah this is basically where I take Annie in the morning when I go up Dundry so you can walk the way up from the previous videos um, I didn't take a video of going me going up the hill towards Dundry from Harncliffe because uh, it's just mad basically so yeah this is where I take it sorry about the wind noise again I can't really gauge how loud it is on the video um, Video and replaying it. So, here's this guy, he's either crashed his car or it's been dumped or he's gone for a walk or all three. Who knows? Another gate which we have to get through, and that just wet my ass. And Annie has found a bag. Excellent, just what we need. There's a strong smell of cows around here, which is unsurprising because that's a dairy farm right there. Will you move? I want a bone. Excellent. I just stood on the bone. Oh, I see, they put the thing down. Excellent. That's normally not down, that um, barrier thing there. But oh well. Still don't know what that animal was that ran off. Oh well, I guess I'll never know. I think it was probably a sheep. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear that video there before I fall over. I have no idea what stick. that is. Oh, hang on. See if we can actually get a better view of this. Not on the camera, at least, but some sort of military aircraft helicopter. Oh, it's the Sea King. Okay, so that's what's up. Yeah, basically, um, I've just realised that <laughs> coming up here was a bit of a bad idea in this sort of weather. And I will show you why. The reason why it's such a bad idea is this. Coming up, it wasn't too bad. Going down is something completely different. And I'm not looking forward to it. Brilliant. Right, better get on with it. If uh, the camera doesn't work, later on you'll know why.